Let me tell you, I loved this movie. Congratulations. Uh, what a night for you guys. Best picture. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how you can top it off, but let me tell you, Chloe, you spent four months filming this movie in the middle of nowhere in an RV. Tonight, you couldn't be further from that <laughs> in the glitz and glamour in Hollywood. So I'm wondering if this movie changed how you live your own life. Well, all of us that you saw today on that stage did exactly the same thing. Um, I think there's a lot of things that changed. One definitely is that I, I think I need less stuff to live, for sure. I could have just a little few fewer things. Excellent. Thank you. Our next question from Access. Access, next question. Congratulations, everybody. This is one of those wins I think that people are going to be talking about for a very, very, very long time. And I just wonder for you what the significance of this win, among all of the other accolades this film has received, among all of the other uh, praise that this film has seen this award season, what are, what are you carrying forward after all of this is over? Well, I think this is actually, for me, this was the, the most fulfilling because it was the first time we were all able to be back together in a year or close to it. So usually uh, you, you've spent a lot of time together through some of this awards circuit and you've gotten to know a lot of the other people who made all the wonderful films. But this was the first time we got to uh, be, be reunited and got to see some of the other great filmmakers and, and the people who made some of the other beautiful movies that were nominated. Thank you. Our next question is coming from Variety, Angelique. Variety, Angelique. Congratulations on this historic night. Um, but the Oscars changed things up a little bit this year, moving Best Picture up a couple spots from being the very last one. Was that a surprise to you guys? What did you make of the change? Did it make it less stressful at the end of the day? What did you think? It was a, it surely was a surprise. I think a lot of us grew up watching the Oscars and I've gotten used to that being last. And yeah, I, I, it was, it was incredibly fun that they shook it up. And I thought that the producers did a great job making this possible for us to be in, in person and the whole Academy for, ooh, as producers, it's hard to imagine what went into the making of this show. So very appreciative of that. Thank you. Our next question is Vogue Magazine. Vogue Magazine, next question. Greetings from Turkey. Congratulations. And my question would be to Chloe. Um, Chloe, how would you define being a woman in 2021? Tell us the definition of being a woman change. What do you think? Does the definition of being a woman change? Um, probably not, but it's pretty fabulous to be a woman in 2021. Our next question is Today Show. Today Show, next question. Yes, hi, this is Natalie Morales, and congratulations, a huge night for Nomadland. And Chloe, I want to ask you first off, being the first woman of color to win best director what does that mean to you and also for this film it had to be so fulfilling it took you all on a journey what is the significance of this movie particularly now as we're getting through the pandemic um i i you know i'm extremely lucky to be able to do the what i love for a living and um, um if this win means more more people get to live their dreams. Um, I'm extremely grateful. Um, Peter, pandemic, getting through the pandemic, what do you think? Um, well, I, the, the ability to have to finish this movie in the midst of a pandemic and then to release the movie in the midst of a pandemic was uh, an, an Herculean effort and uh, something that we never obviously thought we would be doing as we as we tried to finish it up and thought about how we would finish it. But the fact that 
in that process, it seems that the timing was right and, and the story that we wanted to tell and the story we did tell uh, really resonated in a way for people uh, uh, about community and, and our shared humanity. Uh, felt like it, it was a, a, even a deeper sort of meaning than it might have been had it come out prior to that. Excuse me, I just hope <laughs> this is yours. Thank you, and, and, and this, this is, is mine. Yours. Okay, thank you so much. Hi, everybody, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, friends. Question is ABC News, Steve. Our next question is ABC News, Steve. Hi, congratulations, everybody. And uh, Chloe, I had this, I'll wait for you to stand up, but <laughs> I was gonna say, Chloe, what, uh, as, as an Asian filmmaker, how do you, uh, how do you see this as, as an inspiration to other Asian filmmakers out there? Um, and also, I mean, just the, the journey of this film, I mean, especially actually, reverting back to that inspiring a Asian filmmakers, especially in the light of, of what's going on today with, you know, the rise in, in Asian hate crimes and, and all the rest of it. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I, I think is for, for, you know, for Asian filmmakers, I think for um, all filmmakers is we have to stay true to who we are, you know, and we have to tell the stories that we feel connected to. We shouldn't feel like there's certainly certain type of story we have to tell, but but it's a way for us to connect with other people. That's why I love filmmaking, you know. Um, and hopefully, a lot of the stories, brilliant stories that we saw tonight, uh, like Tyler Perry said, that was a beautiful speech, you know, about let's get together and and let's stop hate, hate for for anybody. Congratulations. Thank you and congratulations to our winners. Thank you.